Now, I will say this. One of the things people often ask is, how do I know that the evil spirit is left? And there is a, there's a phenomenon that if you were to, if you were to uh, plot a chart with an X and a Y axis, if you were to plot that chart where the, the Y axis is plotting the level of power or the level of manifestation, and the X axis is plotting time elapsed, what, what happens is, as a spirit begins to manifest and it's going to be driven out, it will start at whatever state it does and there'll be a curve. It might be sloped more gently, it might be very steep, but whatever, there's a curve as that demon manifests and sooner or later you're going to hit the top of that curve. In calculus, this is known as the inflection point. You'll hit the inflection point and one of two things is going to happen. Only one of two things. Two and only two. There is not three. The first option is it will go over the edge and off the cliff and the power curve will drop because that demon left. That's what you're looking for. That's the desired outcome. And generally, that'll be what goes on. But sometimes that demon won't leave. Maybe you lose confidence or you haven't exactly got on target with it. Maybe your authority is waning. You're kind of dealing with what they did in Mark 9. But you hit that top of the curve. You hit the inflection point, and you come back down the power curve, which is to say the level of manifestation drops, and in vernacular, the demon goes back down the hole. And so you didn't actually drive it out. So people always say to me, how do you know that the demon left? And the answer is because you hit the inflection point and you went off the backside of the cliff. You, you hit the other side of the power curve. So let me illustrate. I don't have a demon. I'm just making this up, but this is what it looks like. <laughs> Did you see it go over the peak and the, power, the back end of the power curve? Okay. When you don't have that effect, it looks more like this. <laughs> That's rolling back down the slope. So now that you've seen me mimic it, when you see it in real life, you'll know, and you can instantly say, that demon left. Or it didn't leave, we've got to command it again. Or it's attached to something, we need to do some inner healing, or repentance of sin, or you know, whatever that other stuff is that we've been talking about, that's how we're going to get it out.